First tonight at five, violent storms have torched a Miami Valley landmark. Good evening, everyone. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. And I'm Mark Allen. That statue known as the King of Kings, Giant Jesus, to some is no more. Sonny Wasu is live at Solid Rock Church to show us what's left of this iconic landmark. Well, Mark Michelle, these ashes are all that's left of the giant Jesus statue. And we've seen people stopping by here all day, picking up these remains and taking them home as a reminder of what once stood behind me. And take a look, a metal skeleton frame now, all that's left of what used to be a 60-foot tall, six-story high statue. Giant Jesus is no more. It was quite the sight when a bolt of lightning went straight through the outstretched hand of Jesus, an act of God reduced the iconic landmark to ashes. Lightning had hit one of the hands, and, and the, the fire first started in, and I believe it was the right hand. Word of this fire spread as fast as the flames. Within minutes, a big crowd gathered at the base of the statue, some very emotional, taking this as some sort of sign from up above. Others glad to see it gone. This cannot be a coincidence. This is something that we all have to go on our face as the church and pray and ask for forgiveness and repent from every sin in our lives so that God himself will come back. We worship Jesus. We worship God. And we need to come together as a church and start fasting and praying and see what we're missing together as a church. Glad touchdown Jesus is in ashes now. So you hope they don't rebuild it? Well, he's got a lot of money, and he likes it. It's his church. His wife likes it, so he'll probably rebuild it. More power to him. I'm just glad I don't look at this one for a while. The church is already saying Jesus will rise from these ashes, and this time he'll be bigger and better. This one was well-grounded, but it was also made of highly flammable styrofoam wrapped in fiberglass. Everyone looking at this devastation is trying to find some meaning in the ruins. I think it's the Lord telling us that it's about him and not about images that we can make of him. Now you're looking at a live picture of Interstate 75 over there. Traffic coming to a slow down as they see this burned statue here. Everyone trying to get a look at it. We do want to remind you that uh, Ohio State Highway Patrol officers will be citing those who stop along the interstate to take pictures of these remains. That is dangerous, so please try not to do that. Total damage estimates here are estimated to be $700,000. Now, I did speak to the founder of the church, and I'll have more with him coming up tonight at 5.30. Reporting live in Monroe, Sonubasu, 2 News on your side.